Okay, let's have a look at the February 2021 update from Telegram. As per usual, every month they release new sort of creative things in the Telegram application. So let's hop over here and see what it's all about. I'm going to demonstrate a few of these things. So first one is auto delete. Then the next one is widgets and expiry links and then a few more things. So let's look at auto delete messages. So this is designed around you setting up in a chat or whether it's in a group and then you're able to have it auto delete itself. So for messages that have been in the system already, um, that wouldn't apply. It's now as per new messages that arrive, you'd be able to do that. So let me show you how that all comes about. So if we tap on the message, you see we have a delete button and that's the only options that we have there. But if I go to the three buttons to get into the different setting areas now, what we are looking for is the clear history button. So if you get it from some other tapping on your device, then just make sure you go via that route. But if you go clear history, you are now met with this different interface. So the top one there is when this thing deletes, whether it's uh, a sort of self-destructing thing or whether you're going to delete, uh, you have the option of also clearing it from the person that sent it. Now in this example here, I'm looking at a Telegram uh, chat. So it will say history from Telegram, but that would be whichever person sent it to you. Now the new thing is here at the bottom where it says auto delete message in this chat. And we've, if we slide from off to 24 hours or we can slide to seven days, you will see it says enable auto delete. So by default it's off and you can slide it. Now the first thing that I thought about was can't we set it maybe on you know a specific time wouldn't that be a better option to manage it that way and then I very soon realized that that is not a great option because if you have 30 chats or 50 chats and you set each one for some granular setting you know something to self-destruct in uh, 20 minutes and 30 seconds uh, you're not going to be able to control it it's really going to get out of hand and things are going to be deleting and you've got to go through all your chats so that feature works in when uh, when you're sending links to people so i'll show it to you a bit later but for the chat part it makes sense just to have a global setting so 24 hours will be one day or seven days now if i click enable auto delete every new message that's sent into this chat will auto delete itself after 24 hours okay let me click enable auto delete but what you're going to look at now, if you look at the top at the icon by Telegram, you'll see it says 1D, which means in one day it's going to self-destruct itself or delete this file. Now, if I go back in there and I go to clear history again and I change it to seven days, I say confirm. Look at that icon changes on top. It goes 1W, which means one week. OK, so that's this particular setting. Um, in the instructions, you'll see it says to enable auto delete, tap clear history, choose the duration and then enable auto delete. OK, but do this with a bit of discrimination because you don't want to do it. And then something that you want to keep uh, eventually just disappears because you forgot to set this. So I do it with most of my things because I manually clean it quite often. So I'll go back to clear history. And I'll just leave this to off now. I think we've demonstrated that clearly. If I go confirm, you see at the icon on top, there's no indication of one day or one week over there. Okay, the next thing is the expiring invite links. Now, this is extremely powerful because if you are creating a group on the fly and say you're going to an event and you want to have the first 10 people that get to this link are able to get into the group. You can set expiry dates on the link. You can also create a QR code for it. Uh, the expiry dates on links are very unique in that you can set it very granular to the day, the time that that could be open. You can also set the number of, of people that can access the link. So if somebody clicks on the link and they join the group, you can set that number and that you can also set per number or there's global amount. So we'll have a look at that. As I mentioned, the QR code is also something that's quite cool. So we'll go now. Let's go and find. Let me find a, uh, a group that I can go into. 
So let me choose this one. Okay, so when I go to the name on top, I get to the pen tool. And over here, I can see the usual things where I go and share links. So everything works the same on the groups. If I click on invite links, we'll see something a little different. So this interface, I think in the last release has been updated. So you, you're seeing the um, permanent link there. It says that's the permanent link for this group. Now you can revoke that permanent link also. So if you tap, tap the little three dots there, uh, you can revoke this link. But this is the kind of permanent or private link that people will use to join in the group. Um, you can get a QR code for the permanent one also. Okay, but let me show you the create a link further down here. This is where the magic happens. So if I click create a link, look at this. You can set it by time period. Here again, it's global amounts. Uh, this link will be accessible or, or functional and get people into the group within this time frame, with an hour, day, a week, or you set it at no limit. By default, it's on no limit, so there's no time. If you create another link now, it will just be open until you revoke that link again. Uh, below there, it's number of users that can use the link. That for me is, is what I, I think is, is incredible because you can run a competition basically that the first 20 people that get into this group is going to win a prize. So after 20, that link won't work for anybody else again. Um, so yeah, if you set it, I'm going to go number of users set to 10. Um, and day I set to one. So those are fixed ones that work from the exact time. Now, like a secret chat, if you send somebody a secret chat, uh, when they open it, then the timer starts. With this, when you send the create the link and you send it to them, from the time you create the link and send it or, or literally generate the link, that's when the clock starts to count down. So you can see there it says February 25th, 1744. So that is the termination time. So it's not as per the person gets the link or the person sees the link. This is when you create it. So uh, that's how it functions. But if you want to even go further, as I mentioned earlier, you can set this time period or the number of users. Specifically, I'm going to go slide, uh, take this back to no limit so I can show you this. If you look underneath the limit by time period, you'll see this custom duration. I can tap in there. And there we have a calendar like we do the, you know, the setting of messages that you set, uh, scheduling them. So you can schedule when this uh, link will then sort of revoke itself. That is really, really cool. And the reason why it's doable here and not with specifically with chats is because this is how administrators can manage groups uh, and, and it's not, you know, attached to each individual chat enter custom limit if you tap that there you can put the number so you can put in five and you'll see it will generate five or 56 you can generate it okay so that's really really cool i'm sure many people will find as many uses as i'm thinking already so that's for generating the link and one oh when we generate the link i'm going to just maybe go here and generate a standard one week and 10 people generate the link there we have the link there and you can see this it's like a little animation towards the top that's like the countdown starting which is cool it says 10 can join and six days left to join now if you want to send it to folk you go and tap the three dots on the side there and it gives you the copy share the link or if you want to edit it and modify it or revoke this link okay so if you go and you say share the link then you pop it in there and it will be sent to them. Okay, but I am not going to do that. I'm going to revoke this link. Okay. Delete all revoked links. Let me tap that. Cool. So that's all away there now. So that is how this particular feature works. So let's go on to, let's see what we've covered there. QR codes. Oh, wait, let me just show you the QR codes so that you at least have an idea so if we had to share this link and i wanted to share this permanent link if i tap there i go qr code i could send that qr code to folk to you so the reason why a qr code is attached only to the permanent link is if you attach it to a temporary one and you print it out and send it on marketing material i assume 
chances are that a temporary one might be revoked and then all your marketing material goes down the tube. So probably it's a wise thing just to link it to the permanent link for that particular group. One thing I can say is also with the groups, if you're running a group and now because it's become so popular, as people increase the user base, if you get to 200,000 people, you can flip a little button and change it into what we call a broadcasting group, which means it's unlimited numbers of people that have access now. And with a broadcasting group, there are a few, slightly few different limitations for users in that group, but the admins and all that keep their same uh, powers over the users in the group. I'm gonna end off with the home widget screen, but let me go down to the bottom here. Improve chat import. So that's for the people that were migrating from all the other platforms and bringing it across. You can now pull in the messages and the chat histories and have them in order of dates pulled in there, up to a thousand messages pulled across. So you can have a, a further look at that. Um, I don't use that at all. So the final thing we're getting to is the home widgets. So let me show you how the home widgets work. If you usually do the long press to initiate the home widgets. So if I do that, you'll see at the bottom, add widget. And then I'm gonna scroll down. Let me scroll on my device. Let me get hold of this edge down to Telegram. Okay, and here we have two widgets. The one is for putting people's contacts in there and the other one is for putting chats in them. So it's those two functionalities. And you long press on it and it will drag it to the desktop. So I'm going to go first with first one. We pull it out there and now it's asking you to select the chats. Go in there, let's say one. Uh, here we go. Say so that one, that, that. Okay, I click the check button and say done. And that's what we have over there. And I can slide it to wherever I want to. If I long press on it, it gives me two options. One is to remove and the other one is to add some some padding to it. So let me just move this here. Long press. Oops. Let me long press and say padding. It just makes a little bit more space around. If I long press, I'm going to just move this bounding box a bit there, tap off it. So here, these are the contacts. So if I go and I want to tap on her and it will open up, let me go back. Let me long press again and pull up the other widget. Uh, scroll right down what are we on there we go so this one is the actual chats long press and pull it out here maybe I'll put it towards the top um, let me add some other chats so these are chats that are underway uh, let me put those in and click the check mark and say done so those come up so if I put my finger on it and slide it up and down I'd be able to see whatever's in there at the moment. So I've put three in there, but there's only two people that have content in those chats. As more people come and more chats are sent from them, it will appear here. So I'm in the chat section, I'm putting in the users and as their messages arrive. So that's like your, your popular people, say your family people or friends, you put them in there and as they send messages, this kind of filters it out that only those you see. So I can slide my finger far down and up and of course, if I want to edit, I can edit and maybe add more. Let's see if we add more, see how that will appear. Um, I'm going to add there and maybe I'll add the Telegram one also. So I'll just show it to you. So there I have, so if I slide up now, I can see there's different ones. And when I get to the one that I want to, I just tap onto it like this Telegram and it will open me up in that message. Okay, so that's very very exciting i think for people who are running groups uh, for clients and that i think the ability to send out these links the timing of the links the the management of groups or even your chats to make sure that they self-destruct once again telegram outdoing themselves and there's probably a few other little things oh there's a, a couple of let me see this um more sort of animated emojis uh so i haven't even looked at these yet but I think there's a few other little small things under the wood. The main thing is the, the links, the timing on all of these links and the management of the chats. So yeah, uh, Telegram, I eagerly await your March release. And then one of my 
awaited releases is going to be the, the video and screen sharing inside the group uh, voice chats. That's going to be great because I'm, I've got some of my clients waiting for those features. You know, they don't want to get onto conventional uh, video chat calls or conferencing tools and Telegram is the tool to use for that. So when those features come, we pretty much can migrate most of the clients to use that because it's just so flexible. Fantastic. Have a great day and Shalom.